So I just caught this beauty pike. I'm gonna get it back as quick as possible. Let's shoot it back down the hole. What's going on guys? So today I'm out on the wonderful Georgian Bay. I'm out here with Quinn. We are looking for some walleye and pike today. So stay tuned. We'll teach you some ways to work them, how to catch them, what you're looking for kind of structure. So today it's pretty overcast in my books. That's always good. It means the fish are biting. So the wind is not very strong today. So we're out here where I have some flags. So this is what we're doing. So we're putting flags down. We're pretty crazy. We're in 29 feet going after pike, eh? So here's our flag. And what we're doing with this flag system that we just developed today. So I got an eight inch auger, but it's pretty hard to get a, a pike or any big, big size fish through this size of a hole. And we're using 12 inch suckers. So what ended up happening is we developed this method because every single time you get that fish up to the hole, it would bonk, bonk, bonk on the ice and you'd end up losing it. So we're done with that now. We're doing this new strategy right here where here's your pop-up, here's your flag, right? So what I do is I drill a hole there, drill a hole there, and then four together. So honestly, the reason why I do this is would you rather be using like a fly fishing net or a big, a bigger, net you know what i mean like a more like a pike or net or a bass net in, instead of a tiny little hole why would you want to use an eight hole eight inch hole when you could use a a 20 inch hole right so that's why we developed this method method of madness but uh, we ended up losing uh three fish before we ended up doing this so that's what the plans are today stay tuned hopefully we get some fish so yeah I'm just gonna rip it now. Yep. Fuck it. Ready? Yep. Oh yeah. Fish that, on? That's one. Yeah. Get it through the hole, baby. A little right, a little right. Or your left. Uh. Whoa! Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for, that's baby. That's what we're looking for, baby. A little something like it, like that. A little something like that, right there. <laughs> like this, like that. Oh God, Holy Jesus. Skater roll. Tie skater roll. Skater roll. <laughs> Woo! That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, that is actually. That's a pretty good one, I'd say. So I just caught this beauty pike. I'm gonna get it back as quick as possible. Let's shoot it back down the hole. There it goes. Just like that. Woo! Feels like an alright one. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Oh, stuck on the ice, stuck on the ice, stuck on the ice. Oh. Oh. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice little fish, baby. Buckshot. There we go. Sir. Thank you, sir. Over. There's another fish right there. So let's do a half day update. So right now we caught a pike off our tip ups. Uh, we caught a couple walleye. Let's show you guys what you want to be using on your tip up. So right here we got a good four and a half inch shiner right there. We'll step it up. We'll step that up to a seven inch. Uh, sucker and then from there we go all the way to the nine inch sucker. So That's what we'll be using on our tip-ups um, We have three tip-ups out right now and then Quinn's just jigging so This will change throughout the day if they're going hard on tip-ups Then we'll throw out four and then if they're uh, going hard on jigging we'll pull up a tip-up and we'll both be jigging so 
it changes throughout the day. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's see if we can smash some more pike and uh, walleye. So let's elaborate on bait choices. So we went over all the jig and wraps. So I got jig and wraps right there. These ones, three puppet minnows. Those are moonshines. All these from here to there, actually technically that one too. All those are Repella jigging wraps. That one's a little moonshine. We have Vibratos Williams, Buckshots, Z Vibers, Steel Shads. These are Repella jigging shads. These ones are tumblers. Um, right here you got your slender spoon um, We got our shad wraps we got our jig and shad uh, we got our freedom. This is um, another one that just Came out on the market. Um, it's a Z Viber as well And then I got four bass dash ones right there. That's for anyone who's looking at getting anything uh, for walleye, I strongly suggest obviously picking up any of these lures, any of these selections. Um, yeah, just pick them up, try them out, and see how you like them.